Welcome, MC1 Elliot Fabrizio here with The Rundown with the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Jonathan Greener, to talk about the Navy's Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Program. Sir, thank you for joining me. Well, sir, you've served as our CNO for four years. What progress have you seen in Navy Sapper during that time? We've made progress. It's good progress. So there are many people out there in the fleet should be proud where, where we are and what they've done. We've gone from uh, kind of denying, we don't really have this problem, do we? And it's somebody else's to, frankly, a wide awakening. We have a problem. Uh, we've gone from one in 10 victims, female victims reporting, to one in three reporting. But we still have a lot of male victims that aren't reporting, maybe one in 12. It's time to get into execution. We have our tools. We have an instruction. We have a process. We have victim legal counsels. We have advocacy for the victim. Let's make the victim the survivor continue on track. We, we said it would take a decade, you know, like I said before. So we have got to keep focusing on that. Well, sir, one of the things you mentioned as uh, some of the progress the Navy's making is increased reporting. And with that comes a continued challenge of retaliation. What are your thoughts on retaliation, sir? Well, retaliation is not good. Uh, you're making the victim another victim. Somebody who should be a survivor is now becoming, once again, a, another victim because somebody retaliates. So, so a few things here. Number one, we have to be conscious that what we may feel is not retaliation is in fact retaliation to the victim, to the survivor. How do they feel about this? And then two, we've got to be clear on what retaliation is. There are some folks who feel, hey, I'm just doing my job. I'm trying to help out. That's what it says to do. When in fact the, the survivor feels, well, you know, whoa, I'm, I'm being retaliated against. So clarity of what it is, consciousness of what retaliation could be and, and some thought process to what does it mean to the survivor and we'll get over that. Well sir, as the Navy SAPR program continues, what areas do you see uh, that the Navy can improve in? I think we need to work on what we call the microclimate. I think that headquarters gets it, the fleet gets it, I think our command triads get it. Now it's time to get into the work center, to get into that climate and make sure that we are creating an environment of dignity and respect. No more of the sexist jokes. That's out. That's no longer tolerable. No sexual harassment. We've got to get down to that deck plate level and say, hey, look, I, I'm just not going to tolerate this anymore. That's how we did with racism. That's how we did it with drugs. And I think that's how we're going to get by this challenge. Well, sir, for sailors down on that deck plate level that want to help out in the Navy SAPR program, that want to make a difference, what would you tell them? I'd say, don't tolerate it, step in. Somebody says something sexist, say, hey, we don't do that here, man. Like, you know, knock it off. Uh, if you are the victim of such a thing or feel you, uh, that joke is on you, you say, hey, no jokes here. We need a climate of dignity and respect. What we do is important business. You know, we don't have time for what some call jackassery, you know. That stuff's gone. Uh, we are a serious business. We need dignity and respect so that we can have trust, uh, so that we can get out and do the job we need to do. It's a difficult task enough. Well, sir, thank you for taking the time to talk to us and the fleet on this important issue. You're welcome.